Dear students, welcome to Bluepen Online. Shall we begin? Please use headset, pen and paper to take notes. Here you go. Please let's know your feedback after class. Then what is transcription? What is the definition of transcription? The formation of RNA from DNA. There are three types of RNA. Which type of RNA is formed in transcription? mRNA. Okay, good mRNA. What is central dogma of biology? Uh, that is um, DNA can convert into RNA and RNA will be convert to proteins. So okay. all the uh, information from DNA is redu is given uh, like is for, is completely uh, sent to proteins. Okay. Transcription and translation. Okay. So uh, you missed one point. DNA copied into DNA by replication. Then that DNA is converted yes. to mRNA by transcription. Then yes. mRNA is converted to protein by translation. Yes. Okay. Yes. So now we are in the process of transcription. That means we synthesize new DNA, new daughter DNA. Then we have to transcript that DNA to RNA. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what happens in, at the time of replication? Replication that occurs at the time of cell division, which is that phase? Yes. Replication takes place in one special phase. That is? S phase. In between G1 and G2, we can see one synthetic phase in that synthetic phase replication occurs, right? Yes, yes. Then, but replication occurs at the time of cell division, but transcription occurs all the time. Okay. okay. Yes, ma'am. Genetic information is copied to mRNA. Okay. Yes, DNA and mRNA both contain la uh, information in the, uh, in the language of nucleotides. Right. Yes. yes so the genetic information is copied to mRNA. Xerox copy. Yes. Okay. The genetic information is copied to mRNA. The message is copied into the language of nucleotides. Same yes. language of nucleotides. Yes. Okay. So we get a transcript. But in case of translation, what happens? The language is different. What happens to that language? That is translated from Okay, Sandhya? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Any disturbance? No, ma'am, no. Are you okay? Yeah, I yeah. am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. The genetic information is copied to mRNA. The message is copied into the language of nucleotide. What happens in the time of translation? Uh, it is it is converted to proteins. It is translated into the language of amino acid. Ah, yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, what happens? mRNA reaches cytoplasm and translated into the language of amino acid that is proteins. Okay. Yes. So during translation, nucleotide sequences are translated into the language of amino acid. You can see from the picture DNA that is uh, this is a uh, blue color that indicates newly formed DNA in presence of one enzyme. Here we use a special enzyme. It is known as RNA polymerase, RNAP. Yes, ma'am. Okay, because we are going to synthesize RNA, that's why we use RNA polymerase. Yes. Okay, so we synthesize RNA. What is the difference between DNA and RNA? Uh, the, it has a um, time, uh, this thing, uh, uracil group. What is the structural difference when we see DNA ah. is double standard, RNA is single standard? Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. So uh, then uh, instead of thymine, here we can see uracil. Yes. One more difference, one more basic difference. What is it? Pentose sugar. Pentose sugar, yes. Pentose right. sugar derived from which pathway? Uh, uh, HMP pathway. Yesterday we discussed HMP shunt pathway provide pentose and NADPH. So yes. here DNA contain deoxyribose, yes. RNA contain ribose. Ribose, yes. Sir. Okay. Then what is meant by here we have two strands in dna right okay so 
here we can see the structure of DNA. There are two strands. Yes, one in three prime to five prime direction, the other in five prime to three prime direction. Yes, yes. anti parallel in nature. Yes, okay. So, one of the two strands of DNA serves as template. Yes, it's very important. So, uh, keen attention is required. So, mm. one of the two strands of DNA serves as template. That yes. particular strand, that template strand is known as non-coding or anti-sense strand. Non-coding or anti-sense strand. Okay. Yes. That particular strand is transcribed into mRNA. Yes. Okay. So, other strand, two strands are there. So, the other strand which is not participate in transcription is referred to as coding strand, sense strand or anti-template strand. Mm. Yes. Okay. So, from which strand we synthesize mRNA? Template strand. Then the other strand is free. Yes. Okay. So, we synthesize uh, mRNA based on template because anti-parallel strand is synthesized. Yes. Ma so the newly synthesized mrna is the same as sense strand right yes ma'am okay this strand have the same sequence of mrna it is complementary to the template strand yes ma'am okay so we can see from this picture you can see this is dna one strand act as template strand the other strand is known as sense yes. strand or coding strand Okay, yes. or anti template strand that is not participate in transcription. Yes, ma'am. Okay, the new strand is synthesized based on template strand, but there is a difference in case of new strand. What is the difference? The you, same th single stranded and it has uracil in place of thymine. Okay, very good. In, in place of it is single stranded is synthesized because it is based on template strand. We synthesize one anti parallel strand. Only one difference instead of thymine, you can see uracil in RNA. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, after translation, we synthesize these amino acids. Three genetic code, we know triplet codes. Yes, yes. ma'am. Which is the first amino acid always? AUG, uh, that is codes for? Uh, methionine. Methionine. Okay, initiator codon. Yes. Remember? Yes. yes. Okay, so what is mRNA? Okay. Template strand of DNA that is transcribed into a single stranded mRNA by one enzyme. That enzyme is known as DNA dependent RNA polymerase. Why it is known as DNA dependent RNA polymerase? It, because it depends on the RNA uh, DNA strand to synthesize RNA. It is used DNA strand as the template yes. Hmm? Yes. for the synthesis of RNA. Hmm. Yes. Okay? <laughs> mRNA carries the message to be translated to a protein. mRNA is the complementary copy of the template strand of DNA. Thymine is not present. Instead, uracil will be incorporated. Okay. Yes. Then the mRNA act as a messenger. Why it is known as messenger RNA? That act as a messenger transporting the information in the gene in DNA to protein synthesizing machinery in cytoplasm. It act as a messenger. Okay, mm -hmm. it carries the message to be translated to a protein. Yes, ma'am. Then we are entering into transcription. Okay, one transcription unit is there. Okay, transcription unit is the region of DNA that includes not only the genes for mRNA synthesis, but there are three regions in case of transcription unit. Yes, ma'am. Uh, instead of replication, we are discussing with three regions. In case of replication, we discuss ORIC, yes, right? Repliosomes, yes, the machineries uh, for replication. Yes, then three steps, initiation, elongation, termination. Uh, yes. Okay. But in case of transcription, some sort of difference. What is that? It here, we can see there are three regions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Initiator region, promoter region and terminator region. Yes. As well as one more particle, it is known as introns. Have you heard about introns? Uh, yes. You know that word. We yes. will be familiar with that word. Okay. After this class, you can be easily explain what is an intron. Okay. Yes. So, mrna 
that is initially produced is called primary transcript okay so yes. now we are entering into transcription unit and we form a particular compound it is known as primary transcript yes ma'am okay so let us see what will happen next so now it is the time of interaction okay so what is uh, which strand is known as coding strand uh the other strand which which is uh, not mm. used in uh, formation of mrna the complementary strand of the template strand okay there are three names for that uh, anti parallel strand what is it uh, coding, coding strand sense mm. strand or, or anti template strand okay what about template strand template strand that act as template it is called non coding or anti sense strand that good, helps good. to mrna Okay. What is the which is the enzyme that is involved in mRNA synthesis? Ah, uh, DNA dependent RNA polymerase. Okay, good. So I think you understand all the yes. points. The introduction of transcription is clear now. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then which are the substrates required for transcription? That is ATP, GTP, CTP. Instead of TTP, we have ah uh, yes, ma'am. UTP. Then we have DNA dependent RNA polymerase. It's a hollow enzyme with five polypeptide unit, two alpha, beta, beta dash, sigma, and one more factor is there. In some textbooks, we explain with an omega factor. Okay. Yes. Okay. Generally, we can see that these units, alpha, beta, beta dash, and one sigma, and yes. normal mechanism, we can't see that omega. Yes. Okay. Okay. So there are. we again we explain with eukaryotic and prokaryotic transcription there are small small differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic transcription yes. okay so here first we discuss with prokaryotic rna polymerase mm -hmm. prokaryotic rna polymerase as i told earlier um, bacterial rna p contains two alpha two beta one omega and one alpha sigma mm -hmm. Uh, sorry, one sigma. Uh, yes. Then beta subunit fixes. At, then what are the rules of this units? Beta yes. subunit fixes at the initiated initiation site. Yes. Sigma factor recognizes the promoter site and increases the affinity of hollow enzyme. Which enzyme is known as hollow enzyme? What is meant by this hollow enzyme? Uh, a, <laughs> it comes in enzyme a. enzyme that made up of different subunit factor and uh, coenzyme plus cofactor okay okay that enzyme uh, with different subunits join uh, all together is known as hollow enzyme yes okay uh, so here two alpha two beta one omega one sigma right yes so different subunits are the yes so without one subunit it is not effective yes if there is one subunit is lack it is not effective yes okay so here beta subunit fixes at the initiation site sigma factor recognizes the promoter site and increases the affinity of hollow enzyme to the promoter site this third point is very important sigma factor yes okay then you can see the diagram of prokaryotic rna polymerase okay alpha yes. two alpha units beta beta dash omega and sigma yes sir okay then uh, what is the difference between eukaryotic mammalian rna polymerase eukaryotic or mammalian rna polymerase in case of eukaryotic po rna polymerase there are three different types yes okay? sir uh, in case of prokaryote only one type with the how many subunits are there mainly five total five. yes ma'am two right. alpha two beta one omega one sigma yes ma'am in case of eukaryotic or mammalian rna polymerase there are three types of rna p for the synthesis of different types of rna mm. yes ma'am rna polymerase one or a rrna two for mrna three or c for trna yes ma'am okay special special polymerases are there for its function yes ma'am okay in case of prokaryote all together only one polymerase but in case of eukaryote there are different types of polymerase yes ma'am right 
so in case of mitochondrial rna polymerase synthesis of mrna rrna and trna separate, that synthesizes all types of rna yes mm-hmm. mitochondrial rna polymerase which is the main enzyme that carried out all process here in case of mammalian rna pol- mrna synthesis which is that enzyme rna polymerase 2 2 yes. okay according yes. to us which is the main enzyme rna polymerase 2 Yes, ma'am. That is involved in the synthesis of mRNA. Yes, mm-hmm. ma'am. It is inhibited by one particular compound. It is known as alpha amanitin. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. That is a toxin uh, that is derived from mushroom. You like oh. mushroom? Yes, mm-hmm. ma'am. <laughs> okay. Mushroom masala and all. Okay. Uh-huh. So, that mushroom contain alpha amanitin. One toxin is known as alpha amanitin that contain Uh, that alpha amanitin that inhibits it in time rna rna p2 rna p2 okay that is the main enzyme for the synthesis of mrna yes okay transcription yes mm-hmm. then you can see the diagram yeah hmm? yes synthesis yes, always occur in which direction from replication we discuss synthesis is p prime direction Okay, that is the direction of synthesis, five prime to three prime direction. mRNA synthesis that is based on template strand. We can see the template strand, which is the template strand, three prime to five prime direction. We can see the uh, template strand, no. right? Yes. This uh, round figure that indicates RNA polymerase. Hmm. Okay. Then yes. starting point is just known as promoter. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is a general diagram that indicates template strand, non-template strand, direction of synthesis. When what is promoter? Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Just understand the direction of synthesis. Yes. Okay. Then <clears throat> we discuss in instead of uh, replication. In case of replication, we can see or rise C consensus sequence, adenine thymine rich region. Remember? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, and ma'am. that particular site is known as ORIC. ORIC. In case of prokaryotes, single site, eukaryotes, multiple site for rapid replication. Yes. yes hmm? So that is the starting point in case okay. of replication. Hmm? Yes. Ma'am. And we need a primer. Yes, ma'am. Primer also is there for the synthesis of primer. And yes. We synthesize primer with the help of RNA polymerase. Yes, ma'am. Yes. But here there is no primer. okay in case of transcription there is no primer transcriptional initiation does not require a primer yes sir okay then there is a sequence it is known as promoter sequence hmm? yes sir that is responsible for directing rna p to initiate transcription at a particular point it is known as start point or initiation point yes sir in case of promoter sequences in case of prokaryotes there are two promoter sites it is known as consensus sequence the tata t a t a t a at the time in rich region yes ma'am yeah. that is centered at minus 10 base pairs or upstream from the start point it is known as pribnow box yes ma'am you told me at the time of replication pribnow box okay yes yes, yes <laughs> okay you can see this yes Yes, this ma'am. is the transcription site okay yes. upstream means towards left okay yes ma'am. downstream means towards right yes ma'am. here upstream yes, yes. yes so ma'am. minus 10 region yes yes ma'am. okay t a t a t a t promoter yes. site yes ma'am. Hmm? promoter site that decides the attachment of rna polymerase to it to which site this rna p get attached that is decided by this site promoter site okay yes ma'am. okay yes then negative number if occurs prior located in front of the gene to be transcribed i already told you here it is negative number minus 10 minus 35 that indicates upstream okay Hmm? upstream of where the transcription occurs then upstream of that point is always indicated as minus yes, yes that is known as upstream point towards yes, left okay yes. downstream means towards right indicated by plus positive 
yes yes okay. so plus means to be transcribed or downstream of initiation point yes negative upstream of initiation point positive downstream, downstream of initiation of point. point okay yes, so in case of prokaryote there are two types of sequences okay so uh, that we discuss here minus 10 and also minus 35 right yes ma'am okay so minus 10 region is known as pribnow box minus uh, 30 region has a consensus sequence ttgaca that found minus 35 base pairs upstream of the start point okay okay then what are the promoter sequences in eukaryotes Initiation of transcription involves the binding of RNA polymerase that is known as the core enzyme sigma factor to the template at promoter site sigma factor is needed to initiate transcription that enables RNAp to recognize and bind tightly to the promoter sequence you can see from this picture RNA polymerase is there yes yes, yes. it is made up of six units and among that unit sigma factor is essential uh -huh. Uh -huh. to yes, find sir. out this promoter site promoter site yes ma'am okay then which are the different type of eukaryotic promoter site hmm uh. there are two promoter site in case of prokaryotes which are they uh the uh, pribnow box hmm that is in which region minus 10 minus 10 region then and minus 35 Okay, th those are the uh, two promoter sites in prokaryotes. Eukaryotes, yes, ma'am. Why? What is it? Eukaryotes, eukaryotes that contain Hognes box. Three types of promoter site: Hognes box or Tata box. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that is a stretch of six nucleotides located twenty-five nucleotides upstream of transcription start point. Then mm -hmm. one more thing that is known as Cat box. Yes, ma'am. It's a stretch of eight nucleotides located about seventy-five nucleotides upstream of the transcription unit. Yes, hmm? sir. Then GC box. It's a stretch of six nucleotides located about ninety nucleotides upstream of transcription starting point. Hmm? Okay. Yes, sir. Each type of RNAp uses different promoters. We have three types of RNAp. Hmm. Hmm. RNAp one, two, three. Two and three. Yes. Okay. for the synthesis of mrna we always use rnap2 yes ma'am so here we can see the difference okay this is the prom prokaryotic promoter site we can see minus 10 and minus 35 yes ma'am okay here we can see minus 25 hognes box minus yes. 75 cat box yes, minus 90 gc box gc box yes ma'am yes I yes, think now it is clear with this picture: prokaryotic promoter site and eukaryotic promoter site. Yes, ma'am. RNAp2 always uses this box, Hognes box. Okay. Yes, ma'am. That's why we are familiar with these two boxes: Pribnow box and Hognes box. Yes, ma'am. It is more familiar. Hmm. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I think you heard about the name. Yes, 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 ma'am. Okay, okay. Always yes, yes. No other comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, then uh, uh next is about uh, some additional factors they are known as enhancers and silencers mm -hmm. yes enhancers enhancers that increases the rate of transcription silencers that decreases the rate of transcription then one more thing is the other regulatory signals for transcription they are known as hormone response elements we can see this hre in some metabolism okay. regulatory at the time of vitamin a metabolism we can see this hre hormone response yes. elements yes hmm? repressors inducers derepressors okay. okay all things are the to regulate okay. the rate of uh, transcription okay Yes. Then there are some more, uh, some more compound known as insulators. Mm -hmm. yes. Actually, that is the sequences between silencers and enhancers that prevent interference between these sequences. Yes, ma'am. All these are required for a perfect transcription. Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's a complicated process. When we studied in step by step, it's very easy, simple. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. we discuss about rnap which is the enzyme that is involved in transcription 
then we discuss about promoter site right yes, what sir. is the difference between promoter site in prokaryotes and eukaryotes yes, then sir. we add some more things to the promoter site for the easy uh, way of transcription we need some enhancers silencers hre insulators like that yes ma'am okay then now it is the time for question okay uh, what is this hogness box uh the uh, hogness box is, is the uh, a sequence in eukaryotes okay uh, that is used as a promoter uh, sequence right okay pribnow box Ribno box is in uh, prokaryotes, which is used as promoter sequence. Okay, what is this promoter site? Uh, what is promoter site? That um, the RNA promoter site is where the uh, mm, uh, directing the RNA polymerase to initiate transcription at particular point. Which part of RNA polymerase bind to that region? Sigma. Mm, sigma okay then what is enhancers and uh, silencers enhancer increases the rate of transcription uh, silencers silencers decrease the rate of transcription okay i think now it is clear mm? yes ma'am yes. okay then next we are entering into stages of transcription we dis we discover where is the promoter site we find out the promoter site okay then binding of rnap occurs now yes. we start our replication sorry always replication <laughs> replication replication <laughs> too much classes okay so stages of transcription okay we discuss prokaryotic eukaryotic end organ uh, so finally now we are in transcription okay yes. stages of transcription initiation elongation yes. and yes. termination okay yes so what is uh, now it is the time for interaction uh, and summary you have any doubt you can ask me questions always yes 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 no <laughs> ask me some questions and i will explain okay yes uh, i know i don't have to <laughs> no doubt all things are clear yes hmm? sir. okay okay then well, upstream uh, means ma'am uh, upstream the word upstream oh. upstream means uh, there is a particular region in dna okay yes. so yes. if we find out the sequences in which site we can find out the uh, sequences so in case of molecular biology we use one term upstream yes. and downstream okay okay so there is a particular point okay yes. particular point transcription unit uh -huh. hmm? okay uh -huh. above that unit before that unit sorry before that unit that uh, sequences are known as upstream okay yes ma'am then Uh, after that unit it is known as downstream okay. from this diagram it is very clear you can see from this diagram this is the start point you can see plus 1 mm, mm. yes yes, yes ma'am before that uh, re, uh, see, uh, region this uh -huh. is the start point transcription uh -huh. start point okay yes. gene yes, to be transcribed is uh, lie in this position yes ma'am this is the start point okay mm. so before that region we can see promoter site yes ma'am okay so in uh, uh, at first we discuss there are three parts in case of transcription promoter site transcription site and termination site yes, yes okay so uh, transcription site always uh, expressed as plus mm. downstream plus yes yes ma'am upstream always expressed as minus minus negative okay Okay, yes upstream that contain the promoter site binding of rnap occurs always at promoter site yes ma'am okay based on the position we locate the promoter site yes different promoter site minus 10 pribnow box minus 35 it is known as minus 35 region then minus 25 in case of eukaryotes is known as hogness box yes. it's not yes. all all uh, pribnow box and hogness box are tata box mm mm Yes, adenine yes. thymine rich region. Yes, ma'am. Okay, which is the most required nucleotides? Adenine thymine. Ah, uh, yes. yes. All yes. things are started with adenine and thymine. Mm. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I think now it is clear. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Transcribed mm. unit that contains always positive. Positive. Downstream. Yes, okay. Yes. 
after the start point the all things are downstream downstream yes towards ma'am. right uh-huh. towards left it is minus upstream minus. upstream yes ma'am i think it is clear now okay yes. Yes.